Danny from the After Prison show? Yeah, it looks like him. Hell yeah. Yeah, hold up, man. Let's go check him out real quick. Right, let's go see. Let me raise him. Let me ask you a question real quick. What's going on? Yo, you Danny from the After Prison Show? Yeah, what's up? Yo, man, this shit. You're starstruck right now, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, we first one. Let me introduce ourselves, man. We're bloggers, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? We uh, we make videos and shit and all types of um, content. content yeah, on the, shit, on the YouTube and all that, man. We just recognize we wanted right. to. Jeez. See what's up, how you been, man? Trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> After that bad last experience with Joe, you know, switching things around, making himself look great. He's the king and all this, and he's wonderful, and oh, he's nothing but a lying thief, robbing, using people to make money. You know? yeah. That's why I stepped away. You know, but uh, I love my fans, I miss them. I just wish they knew the story. Mm. I just lately been doing quite a bit, you know? It's well. Trying to get the life together. Hey man, you would love to see if you you know you wanna come along and do a couple videos with us. Yeah man, just get the story correct, man. You know the YouTubers, you got you got a lot of fans out there that miss you, man. Uh, yeah. It'd be a blessing. How long man. you guys been doing this? We've been doing it for a couple years. We just started right. out, but um, you know we're trying to get the ball rolling. Right. And shit, we get you on the on the on the team. I tell you what. For real, man. I'm gonna, Feel like I'm gonna bless you because this gives me an opportunity to tell my viewers and those what really went down between me and Joe. So where you at? Let's get going. Yo, let's, let's get it popping. Let's okay. do it, man. Let's get it popping. Let's get it. How you doing? This is Danny. I'm back. I got two guys here who I really don't know, but they sold me a pitch about coming and doing some uh, videos with them to tell my viewers what really went down. I agree because I, I looked at these guys and to me, they seem very sincere. And at the same time, you know, I'm always willing to, you know, give an opportunity for somebody to help me explain the story. What I want to cover today is a few things. Um, number one is pretty much the basic what went down. Uh, I believe that uh, it needs to be told. Uh, the second thing, I want to cover a few, covering the same subject, of when I want to talk about Joe, what really went down, but with other people involved, and um, how that went down. What I really want to do is, and it's much very important, especially for all the viewers and those new that's coming on, that you, you have to understand the individual's behavior and his motives as to why he wants to help Danny out. He figured he can make me put me up on a, a pedestal, make money, and then turn around, reverse it to continue his story so he can continue his income by flipping the script, meaning changing the story. Danny did this, Danny did that. Danny was gonna beat me up. But anyways, after this video, you'll have some concept of what we wanna, but what I wanna really convey to, my, to everybody. Um, and of course, we have many more. We have many more coming. So stay tuned. Thank you. I'm glad you come back to see me. I love you. Peace out. Stay tuned. Well, the thing is this. Um, when I first got out of prison, I met Joe. I didn't want to do it. I, I did. It's not the point because I had just come out of prison. And I, I, I just don't want people to know. I, I just wanted to live under the grid quietly, nobody knows who I am. You know, after serving a lot of time and, and being labeled, I just wanted to disappear from publicity and everything and people. Um, I got my fame through crime, of course, newspapers and stuff like that, and I served time. And I'm just tired, and I got tired, and I didn't want to do it. Joe convinced me, and simply, you know, real simple tactics. Yeah, I got some money for you, I can help you out. Are you hungry? Let me take you here. Uh, granted, I was homeless, but I always was able to survive. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a survivor. I'm a street guy. But Joe made it easy. He just happened to be there. Actually, he went to, uh, they have a a, a, a a rally that they get together for ex-felons, and they got all types of business, and they offer opportunity for work. A job fair, that's what it's called. 
And so I happened to be at this job fair and he was there. Now, I didn't know he had a recorder. He was recording me with it just because I didn't know about technology, with this little camera that I didn't see. Because I was surprised when he put it on the video. I said, we, how, do you, how do you get this when we first met? I didn't see your camera. He said, no. I had it because he, to go to the job fair, they know them and they don't want them there. So if he walks in there with a camera, they're not gonna let him go. So he had to put one here and that's when I bumped into him. But the issue is this, getting back to the main question, let's go back. Joe helps out people. And the only reason he does it is because he makes a big profit off of each people that he works with. You know, he claims he's helping, but what he's doing, he's using them as to make a profit, you know? And then he turns around and later on, when the individual's not making money or to put a twist in it, he manipulates it. It's like a soap opera. He creates all these, like for example, with the YouTube that I took the money and ran from the uh, Go Meet Fund. Let me tell you something, people don't know that he put $9,000 in his pocket, okay? And I got really very little of it. And the money that I used it, I used it on the family because it was my first Christmas in 40 years that I spent. Another thing is this, that, uh, he turns around and about this beef thing, what happened is when, what, what broke us up apart was, is when I started asking for more money. I see that he was living comfortable and I was just, I wasn't even barely making it, you know? And when I started pushing up on the money issue, he turned around and said, okay, we do 50-50. I said, no, we can do, I'll take 40 because of course, we got to put back for equipment, supplies, you know, so we have it. Everything was cool. Uh, two weeks later, actually when it was time to pay for that month to give me my money when he collects his, he pretty much told me to go kick rocks. So that's what started the problem. I tried to talk to him, I tried to negotiate with him, and then I asked him to take my videos down because you can't make money off of me. I'm not the type of dude to take him to court. If I took him on a lawsuit, I would win. Okay, first of all, those videos are about me. He's invaded my privacy. They belong to me. Copyright, they belong to me, you know? And so he did, he put them up and then he came to me and talked to me and this is when the negotiation 50-50 happened. And when I said, okay, put them back up, this is when he went south. And then he recorded me by threatening me and doing that. So he, you know, kind of provoked me. And of course we had, you know, some type of conversation and then he records me because he wanted to go report it to the police. And all he does, if you look at his video, he's talking about snitching on people. There's somebody that dropped a letter in one of the videos. He sent it to police, I think a week or two later, the guy got arrested, they found out who it was. Joe, listen, let me tell you something, okay? You're no fucking killer. I don't know why you're doing a prison, a prison show when you really only did like a few months, okay? And only that you got beat up by a dude named Tyson because you made, and you, you know you did that for money. You know that was a publicity stunt. You probably didn't get, in fact, you probably, they probably, they probably nailed you in bed. Okay, I mean, you hang around with a guy named Gay Dave. You got it. <laughs> That's a very questionable, buddy. Let me tell you something. You're nothing but a snake. And I'm not going to use, and I'm not going to say no more. But I want everybody to know what you're really doing. Okay, you're a snake. You live off of people. You live comfortable. Listen, a guy that records his wife after she has a miscarriage. And you use that, your wife and your unborn child to make money, you a sick mother F, you know that? You a sick puppy, you know? To put your wife on there, that privacy and expose it, because, you, and I tell you, you're living comfortable. You are living very comfortable. In fact, there was a, there was a video about people saying the millions that you make, you know? I have a lot to tell you. I have a lot more to tell you about the situation I even have other stories that I never told Joe, you know, stories that I know that you will like and you will love. Come on back, my viewers. I'm back and I love you. And I want to apologize because Joe wants what, the way Joe did it, that he wants to turn my viewers against me so that he can take you away from me. And the reason I walked away is because the situation was going on. I want to defuse it. My old style, I would have went and busted him up, believe me, it was really close. I didn't, but for a piece of crap to go back to prison, for, I, 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 you know, 40 years I chose to stay out. 
there's a few shows that that does prison issues which um, right now i don't have the name off hand i want to give them their props because they supported me they even called joe a snitch they supported me um but i want to thank you and i want to let you know that i'm back to stay i have a lot to share with you please stay tuned i love you peace out